How's it going guys, Chris here and welcome to a new video. I want to talk to you about a few things in relation to the Crispy HD12 brand on the whole, you know, where it's been and where it's going. So yeah, let's get started. So people that already know me and know of the channel, you know that Crispy HD started off as just a place where I'd upload, vi upload videos, you know, vlogs about my day and gaming videos and things like that. So that's pretty much how it started and how it's going at the moment like, I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying what I'm putting out at the moment because I've completely changed direction and I feel it's for the better you know I've made a hell of a lot of videos in the past not all of them are still on the channel you know a lot of them are taken down for reasons uh, which I don't need to go into today but there's history you know the channel's been around since when i was at college so uh late 2015 early 2016 uh like i say it's been through highs and lows of uh content my enjoyment over doing youtube and whatnot has varied you know over the years like i've been enjoying it one moment hating it the next taking breaks left right and center trying to find what i really want to be doing and i think now i've found it i think I'm at a place where I'm very happy with what I'm producing and I'm even more excited for you to watch and listen as well. From about two years ago, that's where I, you know, started taking up music. Um, I started writing my own songs and just seeing what I could do. The songs which I have been experimenting with, uh, I ended up making three albums worth, uh, which some of the songs are on YouTube that have videos already some don't um, but every song is on soundcloud um, the reason i make these albums so i can track my progression from start to obviously where i'm at now and um, i can see um what i did then and I, what and every little detail that i need to improve to get to where i'm at now uh so mic quality just my vocals in general like what effects work and what effects don't work on my voice uh, the amount of auto-tune which um, gradually as the years go on, I'm trying to decrease. I'm not using as much these days. Um, uh, people think I still am, which I'm not. Um, what I do these days, I tend to layer my vocals up. So I sing it in a high note, a mid note, and a low note, and try and like merge it all together. It may not be the most professional sounding, you know, like out there, but um, I'm working all on my phone. You know, I don't use any. Um, high-end professional equipment. I'm using BandLab on my phone to make and mix the songs. Um, you know, record all my vocals on. I use all the effects that are on there. So, uh, not a very professional setup, but it's what I work with, and I'm happy doing for the time being. So, you know. So yeah, the three experimental albums we've got: Shadows, Unfiltered, and Circle. A little brief overview: Shadows was the first one, and it was me literally just trying things out for the first time. Um, there was a lot of auto-tune. Uh, I was using a really bad microphone, and you can tell that if you go and listen to it back now, you can tell, like, I mean, it's okay, but uh, it needed a lot of work. Um, so, and, that, and most of that album was me uh, singing, um, with, like, one rap song in it, which I was, I'm, I'm very happy with, but I can see where it needed improvement. Uh, so, roll on to Unfiltered. Uh, it's kind of the opposite. Uh, well, the mic, the mic quality is better by miles, and uh, my mixing ability, um, I can tell that 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 improved. Um, but um, most of the album was is like fully rap. Uh, a lot of diss tracks, which I picked up on pretty much. You know, oh, well, I kind of picked up on that afterwards. I was like, I mean, I, I don't, I you know, I, I was doing that for a little while, but. Um, I don't really want to be known for just doing like rap and diss tracks sort of style songs. That's not really, really me. Um, I like rap. I, li I, li I like doing it. Um, but I want to be known for more than just that. So um, that's where we get to Circle, which is kind of like completely new for me. Like cause I, I, I started doing a lot more light-hearted songs. Yeah, you know, um, I'm I, I was trying to push my... Uh, writing ability more so in the third album 
Um, I knew my microphone quality was where I, I want it to be. I, I, I'm really happy with what I'm doing at the moment in terms of that. Um, I only use a little £20 microphone I got on Amazon, but I'm really liking how it's sounding, so um, that's all good. And uh, I'm when, I, when, it come, when it comes to mixing, I feel like I'm learning more and more like every time I make a song. So, um, you know, I will critique my stuff quite a lot because... Um, I'm, I'm just like that. I, I'm, I'm, I suppose I'm a, I'm a um, perfectionist. I like to get things right, and uh, I want to. If I'm making a song, I want it to be. Um, I, I, I want to be able to listen to it myself and like think, oh, that's really good. But yeah, I definitely think my third experimental album, Circle, um, is my favourite out of the bunch because it's. I think it's more me, really overall, and you know. You've got to be yourself. I mean, anything you do in your life, anything you want to do, achieve. Here's the thing with the experimental albums. Not one song on there, like, I, I like, would I be able to, like, put on Spotify, for example, or iTunes or Amazon Music? Because, but being experimental, um, I didn't get the rights to the instrumentals used in the songs. But there's not one song on them albums which I could make money from. Because I, I'm not like in charge I don't own the instrumental um, so that is that was one thing that was stopping me uh, progressing so what I've done since then is uh, reached out on an app called Fiverr if you haven't heard of it it's really good for creators um, uh, not just for musicians or anything like that but uh, all sorts like photography arts and craft you name it if you need something done you can go on there and somebody can get it done for you so um, I contacted a producer on Fiverr and uh, I sent him an example beat like I found a beat which I liked and I thought you know what can you make me something similar to this or something, something along the lines of this um, and you know just send it back to me and I'll, um, I'll make a song on it sort of thing so uh, I've been working with this guy for quite a while now um, he's made quite a few backing songs for me uh, the songs aren't out yet uh, bar in two, uh, the new one, Grey, and Supernatural Nightmare. Them two songs are songs which I can put on Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes because I own the rights to those songs because mm, I've had them back in songs made specifically for me, which, which is amazing. This is what I've this is what I've wanted for a very long time, uh, but it's a very slow process as well because I have to like, um, pay the guy to make the instrumental. And uh, that takes a little while sometimes because obviously I'm not the richest of people so I can't do them all in one hit. And also after that, uh, when I have the song made, I like to make videos for them as well. And it's getting people to help me with the videos, which isn't always easy. So um, that sometimes slows me down, but it's not a big issue. But yeah, if you look on my YouTube and my SoundCloud, if you see music videos which have a producer in the title, them ones are the ones that I don't make. Well, I don't make money on the new ones anyway because like, you know, I don't really get next to no listens, really. But, but yeah guys, the ones that have a producer's name in the title are not the ones that I own the rights to. So, um, going forward on this channel, because like I say, Crispy HD 12 Music is a, a new channel which I made. So I can dedicate it just purely to the music and little videos like this as well. So, um, but yeah, because the other channels, it's it, it, it very old. And um, I don't really see that channel really going places that much anymore. Um, not in a not in a, in a mean like sad depressing way. Um, I just don't really. Um, it's full of so many different types of content. I, I'm losing track of it. Um, it's you know um, I filmed a lot in the first lockdown. Loads of the random like challenges and vlogs and stuff like that. Um, like parody songs and things like that, um, which I was, yeah, I, I loved them at the time. I, 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 I like some of them still now, uh, but it's just, yeah. And, and, and then I obviously I started doing music on there, like just doing music on there as well. But then I realised I've still got all this other stuff on there as well. So when people search me up, they're going to see like sort of like mixed things, I suppose. So I don't know. I wanted a place where I can just upload music and that is what I created, this is what it is. Um, you know, I do my cover songs now, I, I've, I've tried cover songs in the past but 
I never used to be very good. So I um, had to practice as well doing that. Yeah, so this channel, yeah, it's about cover songs, uh, my original songs, like, going forward now. Um, I, I've still got songs which I don't own the rights to, which I still want to put on YouTube as well. Um, you know, I still want, I, I still haven't got videos for them, and I still want to do videos for them, so I still will do that. But, um, yeah, that'll come eventually when I get around to it. Now that was a little bit all over the place because I do tend to ramble on and on about stuff and go off topic quite a lot, but that's just me. Um, so you have to deal with that, unfortunately. But uh, that is a little brief overview of Crispy HG12 as a brand. You know, my um, YouTube channel. I started off as a YouTube channel, and now yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to progress forward on various different platforms. So, like I say, Grey released last week. And I'm really, really happy with the, how the song sounds, happy with the video, and now I'm partnered up with DistroKid, um, which is amazing. Um, I can distribute the songs to you know, you know, various different platforms, which I already have, so it's on uh, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, and on apps such as TikTok, Instagram, and I believe... I believe YouTube YouTube Shorts. I'm not too sure. I haven't tried it on there, but um, if you type in like Crispy AC12, my song will come up, and you can use it as a sound, which is really good. I'm I'm honestly like really, uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. Be actually, I've got to say, like on your, and I like Instagram Stories. You can use it. Um, so uh, I'm just like really happy that's um, something not I can now do, and people can now do. Um, you know, I didn't think I'd be able to do that, so it's awesome, really. And going forward, that I mean, that's that's the first of many. Like soon, I will be dropping a EP. Um, origi originally, the EP cover was on grey, but I've updated the uh, cover art since uh, to, a, to a single cover. But um, uh, sometime in the near future, I'll be releasing one more single, like separate, and then I'll re be releasing the two singles which are out already, plus. Uh, three remasters from some of the old songs and one new song as well so uh, it's a little while off yet it'll be released in the new year but it's still something to look forward to hopefully so yeah anyway I know it's a lot of information today Kim but if you made it this far well done you deserve a sticker like subscribe check out Grey on any platform you want honestly it would mean the world to me. Thank you ever so much, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.